All right, here we go. Uh, so we don't want any goals early on. This is okay. Do I want this guy? All right, bro. I think I want that. Who are we up against? Maybe not this guy. <clears throat> well, yeah. Let's just go with Necker. What do you guys think about the control decks <clears throat> that I run into from time to time? Or you guys run into Judge! time to time? Uh, I don't really enjoy fighting against most of them. Argus 4. Many of them are so cheesy. That's why I made this deck. Because many times I I just ended up in that situation where it was like a dumb long round three, and every player, both players, were doing their own like dumb, dumb, uh, cheesy strategy, and uh, I kind of wanted to put a stop to it. Please, RNG. Navigator is a. Uh, Decent to play now. Not much left of that world. Okay. <clears throat> Can he kill my guy? What will he use? So this is just a textbook. I wanna push round one. And uh, take you over some with some combo crap run free, like he may has may as well be wearing the baseball hat, saying uh, exactly that. Uh, let's go with that one. I'm gonna buff him. It's less likely that he's gonna kill it. There is no escape. That's annoying, but at least he's not dead. <clears throat> Never mind that. So, we can still get a lot of points. And I think we should be able to take... No passage. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, adjacent soldier. Of course. I'm not a huge fan of the Ice Giant, but this is just a big meat stick. So we can uh, put him on the board and everybody likes that. You can't argue with the uh, results. <clears throat> okay. Well. Problem with playing this guy is that it doesn't put us in the lead, so I gotta play the Ice Giant. Because going first is a bit annoying. Hopefully we can play the Navigator next. Does he have some kind of a row buff? Because that looks very suspiciously like a row buff situation to me. Like, uh... Um Damn, how is he called? <laughs> I guess he's gonna show it. Ah, oh, this is good. <clears throat> we can play the navigator. Ooh. I probably don't want to play it on the ice giant. We might get scorched. Oh, I'll just go with this. We know the mysteries of time and space. Wow. All of them. It's both either way. We might get scorched at the end. The evil us. I hate those guys. Sometimes they just reveal my old spear tip and like, hey, what's up? I'm better than old spear tip. <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. <clears throat> Is this a shoop deck? Oh, nice. I like that. He passes, I pass. Perfect. He does have an okay finisher if that's a shoop deck. But I don't know. I guess I'm not too familiar with the archetypes. Uh, well, most decks are basically about 
We're going for a long round three. That's okay. Okay, we wanna play. We wanna go <clears throat> Necker, Rider. We gotta check what can we get with the... What? Nafulgar. I'm just gonna call it ship. So anyway, Necker. I hope he's not gonna play anything huge. This can hurt. Yeah, still. You can't play the rider now. Yeah, this is a bit dangerous. <clears throat> but hopefully he has nothing against it. Let me try. Oh, he's pr preparing for a rule buff. A very obvious one. He's gonna horn. Right now. Maybe we should have passed. If he doesn't use the horn, <clears throat> I think Always we should consider down. passing. Yeah, that's annoying. Wait, what? Is that it? He put it back. And now saving it. But saving for fucking what? Oh, am I completely screwed now? I think we might be completely screwed. And this is the one thing that I really don't like about uh, the current system is that you draw three cards round two and I'm showing two <laughs> fuck you draw three cards round two and you draw three cards oh we gotta keep playing anyway and you draw three cards round three as well <clears throat> and you get a bonus round one if you go first but you don't get any bonus for pushing him round two, so most decks, obviously, just simply resort to, hey, what's up, I can win round one, then I'm gonna get six more cards, so I can just use a long round strategy for round one, win with that, then use a long round strategy for round three, win with that, and guess what I'm gonna go do uh, round two? I'm gonna pass. Fucking easy game. He did use up his hero power. And I don't think I'm gonna do that. But we gotta force out one more card. <clears throat> A hero power is worth like one card. But there's one huge problem here. That he has a Peter. And he's gonna terrorize the crap out of us. Oh, Aubrick is gonna do it? Oh, I think he's uh, just uh, fishing for all break. Oh, I mean, oh. how is he called? <laughs> the reset guy. Not all break. Stuff. We'll see. We'll see. I took a little bit of break from vent, so don't be too surprised. Now, this is not great, but. Okay, this is basically the best we can hope for. Now the problem here is, and what he is gonna do, is that he's gonna expect this. Yeah. So the plan here... Is to first eat like Goliath or something. Doesn't matter too much. He's not gonna jump on this opportunity. He, we are gonna buff Count Coldwell to not overcommit on the buffs on one on one particular unit, <clears throat> and we're gonna play Osrael last. Uh, 
A lesson in humility coming now. I'm not sure if this is gonna be good enough, but this is the best we can do. Hey, John. In the last few days, I was secretly working on decks. Okay. <clears throat> One thing he might not realize, and I really hope that <laughs> that's, that we are still fine, is that when he does this, Count Coldwell also counts himself as the highest unit. So... Yeah, we're gonna eat old spear tip here. I think he may have jumped the gun a little bit on that one, but we'll see. Yep, we got him. GG, I don't know what his last card was, but I think we had an okay plan. So, we got him, GG. So, the goal needs to go. I don't think this jump has a... As a weapon. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, I can start with the necker. Let's see, what can we do? Big monster versus most likely big monster. <clears throat> I played against your hand buff deck with King of Beggar. I was playing Reveal. Shh, don't tell people about my hand buff deck. That's for tomorrow, more, most likely. <laughs> Come on, telling my secrets. I've worked on secret decks so I can reveal them. It's not exactly a, a very secretive deck, but still. It's an okay deck, as I found. It's actually a very unique way to play the new Gwent. But I'm just hyping the deck that I most likely won't play uh, right now. I just buffed that. Because the hand buff uh, deck has a lot of value generation in it. And also has carryover with resilience. And... Uh, and that's kind of cool. You can win a long round. You can two two round somebody, or just uh, use your dwarfs in the throwaway round. It's kind of weak when they kill your dwarfs all the time, or just kill everything. It's an okay deck, but it's definitely not without uh, weaknesses. <clears throat> Hand buff deck. Been waiting forever to net deck you. <laughs> That's a secret! Tomorrow, maybe. We'll see. It's okay on the red coin? On blue it shit? No, 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 it's... I think it's okay. It's one of the most successful decks I've played. Dwarfs it is then. Yeah, dwarfs. Dwarfs, value generation, plus carryover. Aye, look at that. So we want to play the big ship. Maybe not. <laughs> not right now. Yeah, we're not playing the big ship. I don't want to overcommit here. Let's go neutral. I think there's a decent chance that this guy will give up soon. We are running the same strategy, aren't we? I can't pass. Actually, I kind of want to lose, don't I? In this matchup, I think you want to lose. 
You wanna lose round one to eat his stuff? Round three? You wanna go first. So that's what we're gonna do. Looks like we have the same strategy. I'm wondering if he has Imrelet or not, because that could change uh, round 3. I think I'm just gonna pass. <clears throat> this is tough. Like, you don't always... Well, this is a pretty rare matchup overall. I don't really run into big monsters that much. In the mirror, I think one has to go hard with tempo going first. This round we go down to the last card. Sabat is really good. Um, oddly enough, I rarely see him uh, when I play the mirror. I don't think most players included. Huh. It's nothing good to eat. I'm a bit surprised he started with that. So I can use my old spear tip, then eat it next thing, next turn. Yeah, first thing next turn, that should be good. <clears throat> oh boy. So what do we do? You First time you've seen it in the big boys? How come? Don't you have it yourself? He's really good. You can just slam him. The thing is, we don't care about him that much. He's worth 9 points. That's basically nothing. And you can just uh, really pressure your opponent with it. Um, in a longer round. Unless he gets killed. But even if he gets killed, he's like 5 points for 9, nine uh, supply. It's not really the end of the world. I think we gotta play Count Coldwell here. Yeah... A lesson in humility coming now. The problem here is that if I eat a big dude in my hand, he's just gonna be like, well, what the hell, you brought me a snack? And that's annoying. Oh, this is not great. I suppose the goals are still okay. Even if you are eating fives. Let's kick that. Kick that. Now we don't have a choice. We have to go with Ghoul eating Count Caldwell right away. Or he's gonna eat Count Caldwell. can kill that. Do I want to? I think is this gonna probably gonna grow up to be pretty damn big. Yeah, this is actually less valuable. Death comes for you. So let's use him. blow them up later. I guess we're going with Necker Warrior. Wow. 
Oh, that's so bad. Why would you play those? It seems like a lot of players are on the opinion that you gotta have Witchers in every single deck. And I'm not sold on that. Because you get 9 points for 21 point investment. I mean, I'm uh, not a mathematician myself, but 9 and 21, there's like a big difference. So I personally like having like, like including this guy who costs uh, 6 or 5. No, no, this costs 5 and gives you 6 points. The Witchers thin your deck. That's the one... Ad well, I'm not sure if I would call it advantage, but that's the one thing they do. But the thing is, they are also very expensive, so they devalue the rest of your deck. So, do you really wanna thin your deck? But you're mostly gonna have, or at least... You're gonna have more bronzes than than you should. I don't like them too much. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna go not go far. Now I go far, play old spear tip, don't eat it. Maybe he's gonna put something in the graveyard. That would be really good. And I don't have access to Ozra right now. If I do this, he's gonna if he has, if he has Ozra, he's gonna eat it right away. But there's not much I can do here. If I don't do that, then I'm giving up points as well. Okay, let's see. You run Drowners. Movement is quite strong. I feel like they are too slow. Holy crap. He didn't eat it? What the hell, mate? Oh, I'm gonna be playing the last card. Yeah, never mind that. So... I don't like the Drowners too much. I, I tried them. I tried to have more Thrive units, but I felt like they were slowing down my deck. I think, like, based on my experiments, seems like having one third of your deck in value generators is just about right. And uh, currently I have seven. I have... Yeah, let's just enter. So I have the Neckers, I have the Necker Warriors, I have the Archospores, and I have... Um, we have Imbralit. So that means we have 7 cards out of 25 that we want to play early. I'm maybe even messing, missing something here, but... I don't know. I think, yeah, but that, that's about right. So like you want like seven to eight cards, and when I had the Drowners and the Awful Werewolf, uh, they were just they were just they were just too many cards that had the purpose of generating value. Six. Anyone a six? No. Seems like five is the best one on the menu. Be the guy. <clears throat> Witchers are not that good. Not auto include anymore. Whoa, that hurt. Oh my god. Fucking owned him. Look at this. Easy ownage. This guy never stood a chance. Fucking hell, look at this scrub. We swept the floor with him. <laughs> GG.